Hi everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. Yes, we are doing another folio using the paper pack from Stamperia called Frost. We can go into our cardstock. I'm using uh, this cardstock from Poppy Craft. It is the 250 GSM. So I've started scoring my first page. So you use the whole page. We don't cut any of it. So it measures 11 and 5 8 by 8 and 1 8. No, sorry, 8 and a quarter. So we need two of them. And then we're going to start scoring. We're going to score at the 2 inch mark. We're going to go over to the 8 and a quarter. And 9 and a quarter. We need to do the next one exactly the same. So that is 2 inches. Now my, uh, my cardstock is very thick. So I have to do it, turn it around, do it on the other side. And nine and a quarter. And it's just, and I prefer it doing it this way as well. You get a nice, a nice um, clear school line and when you fold on it, you manipulate the paper on both sides. That is, that is for that and then we need a piece of three inches because we need to connect it that it is 26 inches in the length. Now this is what I do. Remember the two inch here it's going to be your flap on this side so you need to turn this one the two inch is going to be on this side when you connect them we're going to use our score tape and i've just cut i think this is a, this is the um three eighth of an inch just gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna put it onto this side and very close to the edge the score type is you can use glue but a score type is so much stronger and then I'm just gonna tear it okay this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to lift it. I'm just going to fold that over. And I'm just going to line this edge next to the end of my score tape. So that you don't see the score tape okay and that will keep you straight i'm just going to press it down and press it down i've got a little bit sticking over here and i'm just rolling it in you don't want it to stick out and I'm just going to burnish it. Now we need to do the same with this one. We need to connect it. And I'm just going to turn that again. Oh, that's too wide. It's this one. On this side. This bone folder is, it's a very nice bone folder. It's a Teflon bone folder. 
I've just got the two, the round one and this one. This one I I use quite a lot because you can see I can lift up my score tape and I can cut the score tape. And we just connect it. Keep it to the edge here. I should put the pull this side so I can see. And that is it. And let's just burnish it. Right. So you should be 26 inches. And we can go now into and we can fold it on the school line. I'm just going to bring it over. And what I also like to do is keep it even here. And then you should be even on the other side. And we can carry on doing this one. That should be that should be easy for you to do. And burnish. Now when you burnish it, I want you to see there's no there's no breaking in the fiber of the paper and that is what you need hopefully we can do it right through that is when you score on the front and on the back of your of your paper because we use a cardstock and it's uh, um, it's easy it's very easy for the paper to do that you know that you can see the fiber is splitting if it does don't worry I mean it is paper you work with paper it doesn't matter but if you can try and void it it will be good and then on the last one even this is our folio well you can close it any way you would like so let me just push that in and bring that one over and you should be actually in a nice square you know when you pinched it you should be in a nice square what we are going to do, we're going to reinforce this. I'm going to turn and I'm going to do, this is the back and I'm going to do the back first. It measures eight and a quarter by seven. Now I was called away, I put the glue on and everything and I was called away. So I have to do the glue all over again and that will be okay, that, that's all good. I just turn this in so I can lift it so much easier. You don't have to reinforce if you don't want to, this is just me. I don't like to show the joint where I join the, the middle pieces together. I moved and just try and see when you put yours down that you are even with the bottom and mine just I tore in half. Let's get that out. That's it. And then you make sure that 
you know you you even on side to side if you're a little bit off you can cut it down Just want to spread the glue and burnish. We're still going to put some paper on, so don't worry. Now we're going to do the same for the inside. You see what I mean? The joints here. I hope you can see the joints there. I don't like seeing that. Although we're going to put pattern paper over it, but I like to cut it another piece and put it on. Right, now our folio is nice and steady. Okay, so what we can do now, we can start putting in our first pages. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to do the middle one first. The middle one, um, normally a lot of people that does the folios, they do waterfalls. And a lot of waterfall in the middle, so it can take a lot. So I decided I'm going to do some sort of a waterfall. It's going to be more fold out and flip out as what it's going to be waterfall i'm just putting this here because my camera does not like black cardstock i'm going to get mine all ready i'm going to come back and then i'll tell you all the measurements and exactly what you are going to do i cut down my paper for the middle of the, the folio then you can glue your pattern paper in between the score lines so that it fit I just cut a decorative piece of black cardstock and I made a pocket we are going to make some more pockets and I will show you exactly how to do that pattern paper on this one so this one this side is a little bit longer than this side just need to get my notes um this side you need to cut six six and three eight and then you're going to glue it on top of the flap for the fold out and then you can put your pattern paper on this side we're gonna do six and a half and then we're gonna put it onto our our flap so we can have our fold out just stay a little bit away from your score lines and put your pattern paper on now i eyeball i never measure my pattern paper um i can give you this side the measurements for it if you want to that is exactly six and that it is seven and seven and three quarters this one is six six and a quarter by seven and three quarters while we have that one down and that one this one is going to fold over and it's a little bit short shorter than what that one is of course we are going to put the closure is a magnet now i've done this already um let's just do the pattern paper for this side now i 
don't know. I still need to look for what I'm going to put over here. And I'm going to dig into my stash and then I'll see what I can find. Let me show you what I've done. I had a bit of a problem with this flip out. This one, the paper starts to um, starts to live. The thing is, it's very humid at the moment. We just had a storm, and you, the humidity is so high, and I just had to see if I could uh, solve the problem. And I've just add another fold out onto this side so it's a, like a book by itself all that i had you don't need to do this because i had this i've got this problem with the humidity so you don't need to do it but if you want to do this extra fold out it's easy to do that i can show you what the measurement is the measurement is six and five eight and you're going to score at three quarters and on that score line you're going to put it onto the edge here but I've I've just leave, left a little bit there to show I haven't put it straight onto the edge and then just put your score type and put your fold down I've got this a little bit bigger so when I put on my pattern paper, I can disguise it and you won't even know that I had to do something. That's why I've got this a little bit wider and it is a book by itself. This can still fold over and I can still put my magnet on this side. Now I am... I'm not going to put pattern paper on these two yet because I didn't bargain for it on these two in the middle but I can do it on this one now this is beautiful and let me show you this one it's going to come over here and I think it is very nice together um but it is not the f the full length i would like to get that one in and have that over there and then you can see I am gonna I'm gonna leave it this step because I'm in doubt here with my papers. Let's put this onto the back, well onto our fold our folder. I'm just gonna grab mine and bring it over. Now we're going to try and get it in the middle. If you put it in the middle, you should be fine. I've got mine down. So let me show you. That was the pieces. And... That will fit onto our page and then we just need to get some paper for these two pages and um, the one on this side but I am I want to use this as well I want to hold on to that I'm just going to put that in I'm going to go into the other pages and see what I can come up with for our folio. So this, these pages is what we're going to put in 
on this little spine here. So I did start preparing them. Um, I'm just want to take this away and let's do this side. This is, I can put that towards there. This is the fold out that we are going to put in the book and it's going to be like that. For the first page of the fold out, I decided to put these ones on. Now the fold out is um, the measurements. It's the I think it's the whole page. It is the whole page, and then um, you can score it at five and three quarters. But it is just a little bit too small. I had to put a piece on. So what you have to do to, to get this piece, you cut the whole length of eight and a quarter, and then you cut it at one and a quarter. Score it in the middle, five eighths. And then you just, there's your scoring, and then you just put tape and you add it on to your page. It gives us, that little bit extra to put it in the book otherwise if you take some of your pages it makes it smaller and so this is what I decided to put on the front page the front of this fold out and it came out very nice so this page that I cut down it measures five and three eight and this side it measures seven and three quarters and that fits nice onto your page with a little bit of black showing all around. We got to flap out. Now for that we need to cut the measurement it is five and a quarter. And then you're gonna score at four and five eight. And then just it just needs to fit on your paper um that you've cut dough uh, if you got if you go over the sides or the sides, it's fine. You can just cut it down. But it should be five and a half. And just glue it underneath. There's my fold. Just glue it underneath. And I did a cut out. Now that cut out is from, I just need to grab it. This is the page that I use and I cut this piece out here and it fits perfectly onto the fold out. This is the back of that page. And I've just, this side and that side, I let it be more than um, black showing and then I've just fit it onto the side. And this one, we can put in the book we can glue it down or tape it i am going to use my glue and i will put some tape on as well i will put tape on at the top there um just to secure it and just make sure you've got enough space all around and I do, and that is it. And at the top there, burnish. Right, that's our fold out. And then on this side, I just use some cutoffs, and then it is like a, a tuck spot. 
Uh, I'll have to just grab this one. It is a nice duck spot. I just planted, put it onto a black cardstock just to secure it better for your photos. And that page is done. Now, I did not have any closure for this. This is heavy enough and I think it will stay close. We're going to go inside. So we're going to work on this page. So this page, I had this as an off cut. And I've just trimmed it so that it can fit onto my page. I did make a pocket. Well, I cut that out with my die. And I score on the side, score at the bottom, and score on the other side. And let me give you the measurements for this pocket. This is a nice big pocket. So we're going to cut it to six and a half by... You can cut this by four and a quarter. Now I lie, it's four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. So it is a nice big pocket. If you just want a straight edge, you can use that. And then you just score. So you score in a half an inch on the one side. And a half an inch on that side that's your two sides and at the bottom you're gonna score it's not a full yes it is a half an inch and just burnish it on your score lines now we've got these corners that we need to cut off on this side that side of the score line that's what I do. I just, on a little angle, and then I'll do it on the same as, as that side. Just a little bit until I can cut it off. It's just to eliminate some bulk, and it makes it easier when you put your stuff in your pockets. And then we will fold that and when you fold that and you fold that you can see you can see there it is there's not such a, a lot of bulk there and you've got a nice corner don't know if you can see now <coughs> these this ones needs to go your side flaps needs to go down first and then that one because when you put your stuff in okay it needs to go down otherwise if you do it the other way it's going to stop so that's why this needs to go down and we just need a little bit of glue on the end there so it can help us to hold that down Bring it and bring it just to help us holding it down so we can put it in. Okay, it's grabbing. Then the piece we're going to put at the top here, um, this one was the front page you'll see there it's the front page is this section here that I did cut out and I'm going to use all of this and I did it with the smaller page as well the, the smaller book and I think I have to trim mine down a little bit oh let me see oh no it will it will fit it will fit Okay, so we're going to do our pocket first and then we will slide. Come on. 
and then we will slide our top piece for your pattern paper we will slide that in it's going to be like that now let's just glue our pocket first my um, metal tip is stuck in the lid and I have to try and get it out okay so the other thing is that I did forget so let's do that first when you do a scallop edge I just need to cut a little bit off if it's not showing you don't have to but I just need to angle it uh, this one is not but I'm still gonna just angle it right now let's get the glue out you can use your tape if you want to um, this is uh, strong glue I'm happy with my glue and on this oops on this side as well now I just want to tell you if you can do it to the edge there just remember don't do too much and the edge there so when you when you're going to press this down the when you've got glue to the edge when you slide your your photos and things in it is that will be flat to your paper and that gives you that extra to get to get your um, photos in or your or your booklets it's just to make sure you don't catch anything okay so we can I'm always starting from this side so I can make sure I'm away from my school line yes away from the school line away from the school line and I'm down and I'm going to burnish this and down that's what I like about the art glitter glue it's um, it's it's an it's a strong glue and it and if you don't clean it up it is it is um, clear you can't you won't won't be able to see it just want to do the edges now before I'm gonna do the rest I'm just gonna do my pocket so the pocket just want to check it again yes I think I'm okay I will use this one And I glue this one up. This is on the back of the front page. I don't know what this says. I'm sure it is nice saying. I just need that corner. Corners. and put it in put it on and I will burnish this as well I can feel how the glue moved underneath my bone folder okay so that is definitely in now i just want to turn it and get my round bone folder to see that's all good and now we will do this one and then we will just slide it in and nobody will even know that you don't have paper at the bottom 
I need to clean up some glue. And that is done. And that had a nice deep pocket. Now, that is our second page. We're going to go to this one. What I've got in mind for this one, this is the paper I picked for it. The measurements is exactly the same as what we've got for this one. But this is a pocket we we put your photos in. Um, this is what it is. It's, I hope it's not getting glared too much. And you can put it onto your page like that. This is what I'm going to use. It feels tacky. It feels tacky. But, you know, I don't think I've, I'm going to trust it. I'm going to put some extra glue on. And then I will put it on the back of my page and I can show you. I've put it in. So... It works out that you have to put it on top of your page and not underneath your page because they fold it already so but that's that works all good because that's the top and you can put you can slide your photos in and that would look very nice I did put some more score tape on it and if, I, if we can come back at the end of the tutorial and revisit and see if we can have a strip that we can put on there or we're going to leave it. It doesn't bother me. It's, it's not too bad. But yes, that's what we can do. So the side is done. Let's go to the back. I picked this piece and I wonder if I can... Oh, it is was part of this I still love that beautiful and that is so nice so I cut that to size for should be all the same for what we've cut for the other pages as well and I can do that if you want to give me your the measurements this one it is five and three quarters. By six and three quarters. And what I've done. This was at the top of my page. And I think that is very beautiful so I made a fold out and this fits while well, I cut it so that it fits onto the page and your fold out is what you need to cut um, that is five and three quarters by five and one eight and then you're going to score it at four and three eight your score line this will fit then nicely and you can get a nice photo on here or if you want to leave that that's probably what i will do i will leave it at the back i just did a belly band so you can get all goodies in there. It is a nice white belly band. This is just off cuts and I just glue that down. I'm going to put some score tape on here. And I'm going to use the wider one. And it's starting to get overcast again. It's a very funny um, weather patterns that we've got this for this whole week. 
it was so hot it was terrible it felt like the sun was just standing still on top of us and then we got a storm that is when you live in a tropical okay so that's gonna go like that that's the idea so let's just finish that good I will lift it and let's bring it and make sure I can use my score line for my guide and a little bit bring it over and then we can glue this one down let me use Just the right way, just right side up. And yes, it fits beautiful. And let's burnish. I'm just going to clean my glue. It's a seep out here. It is on and, and I think it looks very nice. But with this one, I just feel like it's not going to stay close. The top way, it's, it's easier. But with this, I don't feel like that it is it's really going to stay. It's not that heavy. So I've got magnets here. And we can put the magnets on. And they're just very small magnets. It's just to get the backing off. It's a fight. <laughs> because the magnet is onto the poking tool so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it on the on the end there and I'm going to lift this one we can cover that that's not a problem and let's find the mate I think I'm on the spot. Yes. So I'm just gonna yes, leave it there. And then we can put score type. I'm gonna put score type at the top here. And you can do score type all around if you want. Um I'm going to put glue I'm so yep that's it that's it and press this down a piece um, not piece the magnet now I do have I did cut out a very small there it is that's it 
and I'm going to put him on black cardstock and then I'm going to use him to cover the magnet. Oh, I might just, you know, it fits in very nice. I might just use him just like that. So let's do it to cover our magnet. Let's see. Yes, it's big enough to cover the magnet. Can you believe it? Now, I got him from the small pack. I think he was somewhere, somewhere, oh, oh, where the name is. Where the name is? He was here somewhere in the corner. And like that one, I'm going to cut that one out as well. So I'm just going to let that dry and clear it at close. That is what we have for this page. Now I'm not going to put it in now. I'm going to do my next one. I'm just going to put this one aside. Then we can put them in together. So I just want to grab. It is a pocket. It is this one. And this is going to be an easy one. We need to get patterned paper for it and let me dig in and see what I can find. <laughs> 